on behalf of ITU, let me welcome you to this year's uh, symposium on the Future Network Car. It's, um, as Reinhard said, it's uh, quite a while since we've been running this event. And uh, for the last uh, five years, we've been doing it with the UNECE. So um, I'd like to thank uh, UNECE for um, cooperating with us in organizing this event, and uh, in particular, the director of the Sustainable Transport Division, uh, Yui Li, uh, here uh, with us this morning. Uh, in fact, it's the 13th FNC uh, and um, the fifth we've organized with UNECE. Uh, over these years, uh, of course, we've, we've developed a very good collaboration between ITU and UNECE, uh, both communities coming together and uh, also developing a very good relationship with the industry during that time. And I'm very pleased to uh, welcome here again John Todd, president of FIA, um, and the, uh, the UN Secretary General Special Envoy on uh, road safety. So um, again, very pleased that John has been supporting this event over the years and third time he's been here with us. Um, so thank you very much, John, for bringing your unique perspective to this uh, discussion and we look forward to hearing your keynote uh, address shortly. Uh, let me also thank our, um, our sponsors. We have uh, three sponsors this year, and we rely very much on sponsorship for this event. So uh, I'd like to thank the silver sponsor, DECRA, and the bronze sponsors, Qualcomm and Green Hill Software. Thank you very much for your support to this event. It's very much appreciated. And uh, of course, we're very grateful to Polexpo and the Geneva Motor Show for uh, supporting this event over the last 13 years. And much has changed, of course, during that time. Uh, and um, over those years, the collaboration between the ICT sector and the automotive se uh, sector has, has increased considerably. And I, I believe that this event has, has helped to, um, to improve that collaboration between these two, two sectors. Because the symposium provides a, a good um, venue for experts from both sectors to come together to exchange uh, views, concerns, and to uh, work out how we can uh, improve our collaboration in the future. So uh, you'll see a very good, uh, interesting program in front of us today. It's uh, concentrating on 5G, 5G for, for the automotive uh, industry. Uh, key challenges related to cybersecurity and data protection, and the role of artificial intelligence and machine learning uh, in the area of future transport management systems. Now, um, some of you know ITU very well, but some of you, I think, are new to ITU, so let me just mention that um, we have a, quite a unique uh, membership uh, we have 193 governments, members of ITU, but we also, quite uh, exceptionally for a UN agency, we have a large private sector membership. Over 500 companies are members of ITU. And uh, it's the industry members that drive a lot of the technical work, especially on standardization. And in the last few years, we've also benefited from uh, membership from academia. We have around 130 universities, members of ITU now. So ITU, of course, uh, concentrates on the critical uh, areas of um, radio frequency spectrum and, uh, and international standards, and that's the role that, uh, that we uh, bring to this uh, discussion. Uh, next year, ITU uh, will hold its um, World Radio Communication Conference, this is the conference that maintains the international treaty on the use of the radio spectrum and satellite orbits. And uh, of course, the, the new um, uh, bands, frequency bands for 5G um, to be allocated on a worldwide basis will be decided by that conference. Um, this is in recognition of the the always increasing demand for more and more spectrum for mobile services, but of course also for, for, for data, uh, uh, digital transmissions. 
And uh, the conference is essential to ensure that these um, allocations, the spectrum for these services, are made on a, on a global basis so that you know, devices can be used anywhere in the world on these same frequency bands. It's ver that's very important to ensure that, uh, of course, we have um, these services provided without interference from other services. And it's only through that international treaty that we can achieve that. Uh, and of course, um, the coordination of the satellite orbits is also very important. There are a lot of satellites up there, hundreds of satellites up there, and thousands coming. A lot of new satellite systems coming along uh, we're very small, low Earth orbiting satellites, low cost, uh, are going to be going up in the next few years. And some of these networks consist of thousands of satellites. So these will provide very low cost data communication, especially to the rural areas, which is going to make a huge difference to connectivity. And then, of course, the international standards. Our international standards ensure interoperability and interconnectivity on a global basis. Uh, again, very, very important to ensure that costs come down because of the economies of scale of people being able to manufacture to these standards and enter into a world market. So ITU has already made some significant um, contributions to this area. I mean, we've allocated the 79 gigahertz band for automotive radar. ITU standards uh, exist for the communication between cars and infrastructure. We have um, a, a number of standards on uh, the security, on hands-free operation of mobile phones, and uh, we're working very closely with um, UNECE to ensure that we have uh, secure communications between cars and the infrastructure. And uh, the new uh, UNECE uh, Global Regulation for Vehicle Emergency Calls references the ITU standard on voice quality performance. And uh, we're working in the UNECE uh, Task Force on over-the-air issues, which is uh, developing uh, the mitigation techniques to, to counter uh, 18 identified security uh, threats. As a UN agency, ITU, almost all of ITU's work is related to the UN Sustainable Development Agenda. And um, of course, that has 17 goals um, to be achieved by 2030. And each of those goals has got targets, 169 targets in all. But there's one target in particular that uh, you'd be interested that has been set by the UN that we should halve the number of deaths and injuries on roads by 2030. And clearly that uh, is only going to be possible through this technology, through transport management techniques, automotive radar, uh, autonomous vehicles, etc. So um, a lot of uh, goals to be achieved in that time. ITU is um, providing, I believe, a very valuable platform to address ICT innovation in this area. And um, we look forward to receiving further guidance from this symposium on how we can better uh, address these issues together. So I'd like to uh, thank the, uh, the program steering committee for being able to persuade so many expert speakers to come along uh, today. And um, I'd like to thank them and thank the moderators for their contribution. Uh, and let me thank all of you, all the participants in the symposium, uh, for being here. And we look forward to your contribution to the discussion. So I uh, wish you all a very uh, enjoyable and a very productive uh, day with us here today at the Geneva Motor Show. Thank you very much.